During a routine eye examination, your doctor may discover a relatively common but potentially serious eye disorder, a retinal hole or tear. The retina is the delicate tissue at the back of the eye which is similar to film in a camera. In order for you to see clearly, the retina must be healthy. For various reasons, retinal holes and tears appear in a small percentage of the population. Although they may cause no symptoms and pose little immediate threat to your vision, if left untreated, they can lead to a detached retina, and a detached retina is a very serious problem, one which can lead to blindness. In many people, particularly beyond childhood, tissues of the retina begin to weaken in places. One result is a form of deterioration called lattice degeneration, in which there may be no actual hole or tear in the retina yet, but the retina is very weak and thin, and actually has a lattice-like appearance. This is a condition in which holes and tears can easily develop. Retinal holes and tears are dangerous because they allow the eye's natural fluid to seep behind the retina. When the fluid builds up, the retina can pull away and separate from the wall of the eye, causing a retinal detachment. So it's important to reduce the risk of a detachment by sealing retinal holes and tears. If the damage to your retina is extensive, your doctor may want to treat your condition on an inpatient basis. However, two types of outpatient treatments are commonly used. One is laser photocoagulation, and the other is called cryopexy. Lasers allow highly focused beams of light to sort of spot weld the tissue around the hole or tear. The procedure is painless and relatively quick, depending on how extensive a treatment your retina requires. You can go home immediately after the surgery, but since your eyes will be dilated, your vision may be a bit blurry for a few hours. The second type of treatment your doctor may elect to use is cryopexy. Cryo, or cold, Pexy or seal. Cryopexy is a procedure in which extreme cold is used to seal the damaged tissues of the retina. This procedure is also done on an outpatient basis with local anesthesia. A cryoprobe is touched to the damaged area and activated, thus freezing the tissue around the hole to the wall of the eye. Usually no incision is required. Your eye will be red for a few days after cryopexy, and you may be required to use eye drops. It's important to know that having either one of these treatments carries some risks. Complications are infrequent, but include retinal hemorrhage, loss of vision, and lack of effectiveness. It's also important to know that treatment will not prevent other retinal holes or tears from appearing in the future. But once a retinal hole is sealed, it's virtually certain that that particular hole or tear will not lead to a detached retina.